reviewing Grandview Public Market in West Palm Beach, Florida. I have officially found a food hall. I purchased food from every single vendor inside this food hall. Let's see what it's hitting on. First, we're gonna try the pizza from Pizza Paradise. Oh yeah. Oh, I knew this was gonna hit. They got a wood-fired oven back there. You can't miss with that. Crust is nice and charred. It's thick. Got the pepperoni cups on here. The base of the pizza itself is thin. Everything about this pizza is definitely a hit. I also got a square margarita. Maybe I like the square one a little bit better. So the square one is a little bit thicker, right? And it's more cheesier. You can taste the sauce a whole lot more on the square one than you can on the pepperoni. I thought margaritas had tomatoes on it. Where my goddamn tomato at, man? But it's still good. These are tacos from Bonitas. You gotta stay going down. That's the, mm, mm. Although these are small, they do give you a lot of steak. And it is definitely worth the price. We got the pork. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The pork one is where it's at. It's juicy, filled with flavor. I give you red onions. And again, they are not shy when it comes to delivering that meat. Let's try the chicken. The chicken to me is definitely a little dry. But I do want to try you with some lime, baby. Mm. Boy, that's a damn problem. Here we have a spicy crab bowl from Joy Poke and Sushi. Mm. Ooh, wait. On fucking point. This is why I love food halls, bruh. We got seaweed salad, ginger, jalapeno, onions, rice at the bottom, and crab meat, all tossed in this spicy sauce. Is it spicy initially? No, but when you start chewing that thing, oh, you're gonna feel it. Damn it, if you like any type of poke bowls, sushi, or anything, or if you just like bowls, period, this right here, unmatched. Here we have something called tonkansu ramen from ramen. Ooh-wee, that right there. <laughs> it clean out now. So we got pork broth, pork belly, shiitake mushrooms, bamboo shoots, scallions, and what else we got in here? Oh, we got a boiled egg. When you first open this, all you gonna smell is the bamboo shoots. They are really, they pungent as hell, I ain't gonna lie. They give you huge pieces of pork. Sorry, I got, I got, I got distracted. I'm not really a ramen guy. I've only had it maybe a couple times, but this right here really, really does seem official. So she did give me some type of sauce. She did say add it to uncomfortable. Whoop. <coughs> it's spicy as hell. This is a ICI bowl from Josie's. Hope I'm saying that right. Josie's, Josie's. Ooh, ooh, that's cold. It's sweet too. So if you like sweet acai bowls, this is most definitely for you. The acai base is obviously it's it's blended fruit, but it is extremely sweet. On the top you have the granola, the bananas, the strawberries, and the coconut, which kind of balances everything out. Mm. Your first bite of this, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's gonna do a number on them tifuses, but this is really good. This is the mahi mahi sandwich from Claire's Avenue. So I want y'all to see how big it is. It's huge. That's that's all right right now. So when it comes to seasoning, they did their thing on this one. They grilled it and there's also a citrus flavor on this too. It looks like this could also be maybe some, I don't know, maybe some house sauce. The bun is toasted. And overall, this is just a soft, delicate, tasty piece of fish for us. It tastes like Old Bay fries. Yeah, all right. Next we got oxtails from Caribbean Fireside Bistro. So are the oxtails big? No, they are small and, and super meaty. Is there a flavor that pops out? No, but they did braise these. Looks like they may have browned them too. They're tender. They're prepared good for so. Rice and peas. Tastes really good with the gravy. Cabbage. Not bad the cabbage at all. And next we have some desserts from Mix Bake Shop. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm sorry, y'all. I got to introduce this to me. I was so ready to bite into this. This is actually a butter cake. It's drizzled with. With, with white sugar and cream. And the inside is really soft and slightly gooey too. This can be dangerous. Chocolate chip. Chocolate chip's okay. This is a blueberry blondie. So some of you guys don't like your desserts really sweet, and that's fine. A lot of you guys would like this just off the strength of, for one, the presentation, two, the blueberries, and three, it's not that sweet at all. And the bottom of this really does taste like cookie dough, but it's still pretty good. This is called the Bonorio from Sugar Milk. 
So basically you have this waffle, right? And if I'm being honest, it looks just like those 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 Chinese waffles. And the waffle has these little these little cell things, and they make it like a taco, and they put in ice cream, bananas, and Oreos on top. I guess it's only right for me to actually bite the waffle with the ice cream and the Oreos and bananas, right? Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought the waffle was going to be crunchy, but it's not. However, if this was crunchy like those like those waffle cones they'd be selling at Cold Stone, bruh, this would be on point. It's still pretty good, though. I ain't going to lie. And last but not least, we have a blackberry drink from Natavis. We're going to try to drink first. Mmm, nice and sweet. So they give you a waffle to dip it, and they give you Nutella. We're going to try both. Break your ass off. What's this? Cheese inside the waffle or something? Nutella. Waffle Nutella, it's pretty good. He said I could dip it, I guess. So waffles aren't sweet at all. And I'm glad they're not. Cause this is sweet enough. And I'm still convinced that these are somehow, somehow cheesy waffles. This place also has some, some banging ass coconut lemonade. Try to sample of it, I just didn't get it. I should have got it though. Damn, why I didn't get that? This food hall here, amazing. They do have complimentary valet parking. Does that mean you park up front for free? Yes. Does it mean, well, it's free, so I don't have to tip? No. I'm gonna put the address right here. If you're in the West Palm Beach area, this is a place you definitely want to check out.